But I would say cautiously optimistic. We have way more testing. We'll get results way quicker. So I think we have some tools in our tool belt this time around to, you know, I think uh, control any sort of mini outbreaks. A lot of things that we have in place now that make us believe that we won't see something as bad as the first wave in March and April is that we know that the virus is out there. People are taking precautions, especially New Yorkers. You look around, everyone's wearing masks. People are social distancing. We're starting to wonder if this is going to be more of a sustained lower level surge. Potentially the inoculum is, is less because everybody's wearing masks. Tremendously increased our capacity to isolate patients. We turned the fans on to generate a negative pressure and the actual negative pressure in the room would be displayed on the monitor. Uh, and above our heads, every single room is outfitted with a ping pong ball in a tube. And so when the room is under the negative pressure that we would consider safe uh, for a patient with an infectious pathogen, that ball will actually be pulled into the room, uh, which makes it easy for staff to glance up quickly before they enter a room and confirm that that room is under negative pressure. The reason that's so important is that if a patient is in that room with an infectious pathogen and they're coughing into the air, uh, we want to know that air, the air that they're coughing out is not going to come out into our hallway uh, or where it could affect our healthcare workers or other patients. We want to know that it's going to be safely exhausted.